Unknown gunmen on Thursday morning have again attacked Mbir Divisional Police Headquarters in Mbitoli local government area of Imo State. Reports has it that the gunmen attacked the police station at around 1 a.m. on Thursday and freed suspects detained in custody in the police facility. It was gathered that the gunmen failed to raise the police facility due to the resistance of the policemen on duty. Speaking to the punch, a source said that the gunmen kidnapped one police officer and injured two other cops. He added that the hoodlums took away the phones belonging to suspects and the police operatives at the divisional. The source said, we resisted them, but they overpowered us. They had, they had more sophisticated weapons. They took all the phones they saw, released the suspects when they gained access and vandalized the police building. Confirming the attack, police spokesperson in the state, Orlando Ikeoku, said it was true that the gunmen attacked the police station. He also confirmed that while one police officer was missing, two others were injured owing to the resistance put by the men on duty. Orlando Ikeoku also confirmed that some suspects detained in the police facility were freed by the attackers. He however assured that the police authority in the state had commenced investigation into the attack immediately. It has been reported that six divisional police headquarters had been attacked between the months of February and April 2021. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news stories as it is? Imo State again woke up to the bizarre attack of headsmen on another divisional police headquarters in the state. After this attack happened at the Wode Prisons and the Imo State uh, Police Headquarters in the state. It is sad and unfortunate, and it is really, really a very serious matter, as it is. The people of the state are in a dilemma, as it is. The activities of the unknown gunmen has continued to has continued to bewilder the people and create serious cause for concern. On the, on the residents of Imo State as it is. In the past three days now, no day has gone by without the activities of the unknown gunmen hitting the states and in various locations. The other day, checkpoint soldiers at the checkpoint in uh, Ukwoji were attacked. Some of them killed. Their vehicles were burnt down. The attack on the Imo State headquarters, Imo State Police headquarters, they were a prison. Same day, the unknown gunmen attacked another police station in Subway and Nusiala Mbano, where they also burnt down the police station and freed inmates. Now they have attacked another one in the Mbiri. He tells you that, you know, these unknown gunmen are actually working hard to make a statement to either the state government or the federal government as it were. Could it be that the activities of the unknown government is targeted uh, against the governor of the state who the people are actually not happy with? Or could it be that they are trying to um, issue serious warning to the state governor it probably might just be it probably might not be we cannot say exactly authoritatively but somehow somehow the governor of the state cannot be exonerated from this particular attack 
it is either this is against him or because of him or because of the government federal government as it were don't forget that also the mass coming to office or assuming office you know in a very strange way it has not gone unnoticed and people are not happy about it probably they are trying to make the state ungovernable for him or because he has stepped on toes in the state ever since he became governor probably these are some of the reasons why the unknown government are carrying out this attack to make his governance his, his government you know ungovernable these are just permutations i'm not sure i'm just um thinking out loud you know this could be some of the reasons you never can tell or could it be that truly according to what the governor said that um the aggrieved politicians in the state are actually the ones behind the attack but the question is why would such politicians uh, sponsor such um, acts in as much as nothing is impossible you know one can still there are reasons to believe that it is um, very very uh, it is not out of place for such things to, to happen but it is sad and unfortunate because at the end of the day these particular acts may start involving the loss of lives and by the time it starts involving the loss of life, it will go a long way. It will, uh, it will now be a serious issue which needs to be dealt with and dealt with thoroughly. But be that as it were, we must as a people ensure that the people of the state or the uh, safety of the majority of the people is actually guaranteed since the government has failed. Another reason why the activities of the unknown government is still a huge um, surprise and concern is that they are not targeting individuals, they are not targeting the people, they are they're actually targeting the government or the government structures and facilities and all that. That's what they are targeting and that's a lot it's not freezing for the government to begin to worry about this particular situation well it is what it is guys we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold so drop by at the comment section and let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories endeavor to share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.